Now let's move on to understanding the time series con concepts, its components, and how do we translate this particular problem into a data science solution approach. When we hear a term time series, you, you, would, you would definitely come across multiple terminologies and concepts, be it, it components like trend, seasonality, cyclicity, variations, white noise, or probably differencing decompositions, rolling statistics, Dickey Fuller test, stationarity, non stationarity, AR models, MA models, ARIMA models. There are multiple elements and components and probably techniques what you would hear or encounter. Let's deep dive into all of this and try to understand what each of this mean and how we can use these techniques to solve our problem. Everybody knows what is time series data, right? Be it the daily sales, inventories, monthly rate of interests, and whatnot. Any data which has dependency on the time or which varies with respect to the time is called as time series data. We will discuss the time series com components or concepts with examples and probably try to understand how to deal with the time component in the data. Forecasting is so much important in the banking sector, weather, population prediction, e-commerce, inventory predictions and whatnot. There are many directly or indirectly applications of having future values of a particular KPI. The time series models are based on the function of time. The measurements are irregular intervals of time where time being a dependent variable for the modeling. Now let's try to understand its components. There are some basic definitions involved before we get on to understand different algorithms. So there are typically four components majorly seen in the time series data. The first and foremost, trend. So if I want to define trend, it is a movement of data values that decreases or increases with time. There can be an upward trend or a downward trend for any time series data. The upward trends are those that increases with time. The downward trends are those that decrease with time. So if you look at it here on the Jupyter notebook, I tried having few of those elements, right? So here we are trying to capture the trend with seasonality or non-seasonality or be it an additive or multiplicative, right? So this particular element, what you see either increasing here you see the increasing trend line. Moving on to the seasonality and cyclicity. Seasonality is a repeated behavior of the data that occurs on the regular interval of time. It means that there are patterns that repeat themselves after some interval of the period. For example, if I go back to the same graph, here you see there's a seasonality, right? With time, either there's increasing or there is decreasing. Again, around the same period of time, the similar behavior occur. If I want to give you a real-time example, right? So probably if, if you look at the sales of a groceries, every month end or the beginning of the month, you see a peak and then gradually it decreases. Right? So whenever you see such pattern which occurs regularly around the same period and this seasonality can be weekly, monthly, yearly, quarterly and whatnot. Again, it depends on the business, it depends on the organization, it depends on multiple factors on how the seasonality can occur. Same is the case with the cyclicity as well. Moving on to the last part, which is basically we call it as the noise component, the variations and the irregularities. The variation and irregular patterns are not fixed frequency patterns. They are of a short duration and non-repetitive in nature. So this white noise is a term that belongs to a part of the pattern in the time series where we cannot do predictions or forecast because there is no correlation dependence of the next value to its previous value. 
this part of part n has zero mean and constant variance. The main point noted here is that the white noise has zero mean and constant variance. So it means that the data points will be Gaussian with normal distribution. But from my experience, I have noticed that the white noise can be uniform distribution and not normal distribution as well. So let's look into all of these components from our data. How our data look like when I decompose the time series into these components? We call it as decomposition of time series. Now, when, when we have a trend component with us, how do we kind of smoothen it? Why, why smoothing is required? How do we remove the effect of the trend series? Probably the moving average, which we have been looking at since years. Probably if I want to talk about the history of time series, average and moving averages were predominantly used few decades back to look at how the numbers would look like in the near future. Similarly, we have exponential smoothing methods which is basically from a weighted moving average where you give higher weights to the recent data or probably decline exponentially on the most recent data. Right? And when you decompose the data, you have trend element, you have the seasonal element where you want to understand without the trend how the seasonality would look like. And probably you, you will try doing some exploratory data analysis to understand the seasonal indices and de-seasonalizing. And finally, the irregular component that cannot be modeled like we discussed. And these are the additive and multiplicative where you see, if you see the series one, I can, I can precisely say that it's it's more towards the multiplicative in nature because the numbers or 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 probably the line what you see which is basically has four components trend seasonality is kind of increasing with time or probably having a multiplicative factor in it but seriously if you see when i decompose it it can be seen as an additive model as well so this is just from seeing the whole time series as it is, but when you decompose it, you'll be in a state to understand the additive and multiplicative parts of it. Here are a few of the time series algorithms, what we'll be exploring, discussing, understanding, and implementing end-to-end -end on our data set. ARIMA, Auto Regressive Integrated Moving Average, and its variants, halt wilters method, Neural networks and war models.